An insulated rigid tank contains 3 kg of a saturated liquid vapor mixture of water at 200 kPa. Initially, three quarters of the mass is in the liquid phase. An electric resistance heater placed in the tank is now turned on and kept on until all the liquid in the tank is vaporized. Determine the entropy change of steam during this process. Okay, so we have a rigid tank and we have three kilogram of water. Initially, it was at 200 kilopascal and it was a mixture. After the resistance heater is placed and um, now the liquid um, in the mixture vaporized, that means the mixture now is completely uh, saturated. vapor. Find the entropy change of that system. And also we are told that initially three quarters of the mass is in liquid phase. That means quarters of the mass, the remaining basically uh, is in the vapor phase so three quarters means three over four of the mass is in initially in liquid that means the remaining is in vapor so the reason they tell you this they're actually giving you the value of the quality okay because remember how quality is calculated we have the mass of the vapor over the mass of the total that means of course then if we have the total mass of m initially one over four of that is in the vapor and that is the total and that means basically the quality is 0.25 all right so by telling you that three quarters of the mass is in liquid phase in the mixture they're actually telling you what is the value of the quality so you need to be careful in those type of wording in the problem statement now to be able to find the entropy change of that system all we have to do multiply mass and sub and then multiply it with S2 minus S1. And S2 and S1, specific entropies of the states, we can figure those out from the tables. So initially they say pressure is 200, and then quality is 0.25. These are we learned from the problem statement this tells us that we have a mixture um sure then how are we going to figure out what s1 is s1 can only be figured out from the equation that has the quality right because that's a mixture and from looking at the tables and reading values for sf and sfg at 200 kilopascal for water uh, we can read these values. I'm just skipping the units here, not to crowd the page. Page. It should be two point nine two nine four kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. That is the first entropy, specific entropy. Now we need to find the second one. From the problem statement, we understand 
we have a saturated vapor and we don't know anything else like they don't give us temperature pressure or anything else but we need to remember the keyword that says rigid tank rigid tanks means v1 is equal to v2 so we already know therefore our specific volume is uh v1 okay but we haven't calculated what v1 is because it's also a mixture so we should be able to first calculate what v1 is using the quality at the first state okay and the equation will be vf plus x1 vfg at that 200 kilopascal so let's calculate it first Zero point two 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 meter cube per kilogram. Okay, so now we know uh, V one and V two. That means we can look at the tables for the second state and figure out uh, the saturated vapor at the specific volume of this what should be the specific entropy okay how to how do you do that okay so you need to look at saturation tables or uh, water and we need to find a specific volume of 0 0.2222 okay let's go saturated water tables it doesn't matter the temperature or uh, pressure table here we need to locate a specific volume for a saturated vapor we need to look at vg column this one okay there we need to locate a specific volume of 0 0.2222 okay so we go so it seems like somewhere in between and therefore in order to find therefore what is the corresponding specific entropy at the saturated um, vapor state with SG you need to look at the SG column and it should be in between those numbers so therefore you need to do linear interpolation there okay and in fact if you do that the linear interpolation you will find a specific entropy okay now we know the entropies of the first and second state we should be able to calculate the entropy change Okay, here's your answer.